Hello, and welcome to the cabin. <laughs> In the never-ending quest to lighten my hiking gear, I've purchased a new bag, and that is the Osprey Exos Pro 55 litre. I've been a fan of the Exos series for a long time. Oh God, it's like uh, Blue Peter. Here's one, I, here's one I made earlier. I started many moons ago with the black and green. It's a bit battered up, but I still use it. Fern uses it. Perfectly good nick. I upgraded because I wanted bigger hip belt pockets to the newer version. This is the most recent Exos 48 litre and I've been using this a lot. And so it's gonna be mainly a look at the Exos Pro 55, but also a comparison to the Exos 48 litre. First of all, just run through some stats. This is for the small slash medium, which is what this is. And the weight of it is just 947 grams. I'll put the uh, stuff for the American Mandem, uh, which is pretty crazy. And if you take off the, the top lid, the brain of the bag, which is detachable, and then use the flap underneath, you can get it down to 866 grams, which for a 55 litre framed backpack is pretty, pretty special. Materials, the main is Nanofly 100D nylon, but times 200D UHMWPE PFAS free DWR. If this makes sense to you then fine, makes no sense to me, I'm just reading it off the website. It's just a lot of stuff. I mean, I'll put it all on the screen for you now and inst instead of doing, <laughs> instead of trying to read it out. It's got the ultralight airspeed suspension on the back, lightweight injection molded ladder, which provides four inch of torso adjustability. 3.5 millimeter power coated light wire frame balance support and dynamic flex. The shoulder straps combine reverse space and mesh die cut EVA foam and a unique structured 3D mesh to deliver excellent support and ventilation. 15 millimeter adjustable sternum strap with rescue whistle. EVA foam padded hip belt offers dynamic stretch for a secure dynamic fit. Zippered pocket provides secure storage. Open pocket provides quick access to store snacks, wrappers, phone, etc. I bought this from Ultralight Outdoor Gear and I'll leave a link for it below. I saw it had come out and that it was quite a lot lighter than the Exos 48, so I thought, right, here we go. I've taken it out for a few day hikes and I took it on a big multi-day hike in the Peak District. And these are my real world thoughts. There's some things that I really like about it and there's some things that I'm not too keen on. It's pretty similar to the Exos 48, but I will say this. Despite it being made of better materials, more expensive materials, and it being more of an expensive bag, the materials feel cheaper, ironically, which is weird. It's, it feels like a cheaper bag, but I guess that's because they've stripped it all back and, and tried to save on weight. The lightness and the amount of kit you can put in it is unbelievable for a framed pack with that special trampoline back bit, which keeps the bag away from your back, stops you sweating. I've tried multiple lightweight backpacks that don't have this system, and my back just gets too hot and too sweaty when it's peak summer. So I always find myself going back to the Exos. Now with this one, the backpack does have the adjustable sliding bit on the back, so you can adjust it up, there's up to four inches of, of adjustability on there, but, I found the toggles on this one don't hold as secure as on the 48 litre, so if it's been kicking around in my tent for a little bit, or if I've just stopped for a brew and I've picked my bag up again, I've sometimes found that these toggles come out, so I've just got to chuck them back in, which is no real bother, but after a multi-day hiking, it can get a bit of a pain. I guess mainly what I like about this pack is the fact that it is super lightweight, and I would use this as my go-to pack for summer, winter, the lot. If not for one, one major, major thing, which I will get to. I think it looks pretty cool. I like this, the front stretch pocket, and I love how comfortable it is. I put some good miles in on this with uh, 
with my friend Joe in the Peak District. And I didn't even know I had it on. It's, it's so comfortable. I'm gonna run through some differences between the two, starting with the brain, this top section. The Osprey has the mesh pocket underneath the lid. The Pro doesn't. Obviously, it's just a weight saving thing and you might use that, you might not, but because I've used this pack so much, I know where all the pockets are and I know what I'm putting in them pockets when I go. So I know that my GPS system will be in there, I know my knife will be in there, maybe a torch will be in there. And using this, it sort of took that away and then I've had to put it into the bag itself. And I like to be able to grab little items, so I quite like a few pockets on the top. Another thing I noticed on the Exos was the straps at the bottom weren't able to hold a tent. If my tent or my sleeping bag or something's wet, I like to attach it to the outside of my bag. And also it saves up a little bit more room in the bag. I mean, you could do it with this, but it's a bit of a stretch. I don't think it's supposed to. And these straps are actually attached to the hip belt. So when you tighten them up, it sort of pulls on your hip belt. So I think this is designed to have everything in the bag not things hanging off the outside of it. The back system, I think is way better. The clips clip in and out effortlessly and I've never had them pop out unwanted. So that's a plus for this. The main plus though, for me is, and I didn't realize this when I bought this pack, was it doesn't have anywhere to store my hiking poles. And when I'm doing long multi-day hikes, I always take my hiking poles. And I'm also filming and I want to do bits, open gates, whatever. And when I'm walking through a, a village, I like to stow my hiking poles on my bag. And with this, I can do that up in, onto, the, uh, onto the arm, through this loop at the bottom, onto the strap. And they're tucked out of the way, they don't hit my arms or anything. And then I can film, I can walk about... Um, because sometimes you want to mix it up and put your poles away. With this, I found that I couldn't do that. And if I wanted to, if I wasn't going to be using my poles for an extended period of time, I'd have to stop, take the bag off, and then attach them to the back or to the sides. But, which for me is a deal breaker because I do use my hiking poles a lot. So although this is 400, it's roughly 400 grams heavier... I just think for me and my hiking poles, it's this one. I suppose we have to talk about the aesthetics. I think they both look great. I love the colours on the Exos Pro. This does come in a black and orange as well, which is pretty cool. So at the moment, you can get this for £175. This is £220. It's got plenty of webbing down each side and on the lid. The side pockets are huge. You could fit your tent in there and great for getting water in and out. The problem I found as well though was a bit like with this one, when you tighten the uh, the straps at the side, if you've got a water bottle in there, it sort of tightens your bottle to the bag so it makes it difficult to get out and even more difficult to get back in. So who's it for? If you don't use hiking poles at all and you're wanting to shed your weight, I would go with this. It's amazing. If you're just doing like one or two nights in the mountains and you want to lighten your load, but still have a lot of space, 55 litres, then this is great. It's so light, Yay! it's so light, you hardly know you're wearing it. But I didn't realise I couldn't carry my, my trekking poles on it, so it has to be this one for me. So if this was a, a versus and I had to choose one, I'm nailing my flag to the Exos 48 litre. Whether it's this or whether it's this, and it's tried and tested. You know, it's seen me on some amazing hikes through many, many miles and hasn't let me down. It's been comfortable. I haven't rubbed. It's kept my back dry and ventilated. And I think I'm going to stick with this as my main hiking backpack. As I say, if you don't use hiking poles, I would definitely recommend this if you're wanting to shed some weight. This, is def this could definitely be the bag for you. I'll leave links for these bags below. And that's just my thoughts on the new Exos Pro 55. I like it. I have used it for many miles, but I don't think I'm going to use it anymore. I think I'm going to stick to the Exos 48 litre because I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love that backpack. Thanks very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon.
Bye from the cabin. Goodbye. Shall I get up and go? See ya. Ah, where's that dog? Another thing that I found. What? Babe, I'm filming. I want to say something, but I didn't know. Hi, it's me. I'll keep that in. <laughs> You think I won't, but that's keeping that in, so it's staying in. No, this is what I'm dealing with, guys. Trying to do a professional. Tense, tense, tense. It's not. Does it look like tense? <laughs> bags, 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 bags. Does it fit a dog? Well, there you go, guys. The le the video's just got a lot cuter. <laughs> I was just, I was struggling with my video anyway because this is making noise and I can't do uh, And now look, I'm getting licked by a dog. A <laughs> a Which do you prefer? The Exos 48 litre or the new Exos <laughs> 55 litre probe? <laughs> He's yawning. <laughs> right, anyway, come on boy. Hey, where are you going? Are you going out? Yeah, I'm going to see my mum. Okay, love you. Love Right, let's well, say bye everyone. Can you close the door of you've i I'm in a shed. We all know this. It's, it's, not a shed, it's, summer. it's a summer house. I've got a kitchen over there. I've set up my little office space. I didn't want to tell you this. I feel like I've told you it before, but we've been sidetracked. Bye. Back systems. Back to the back systems. <laughs>